Sports' Tom Sherwood has our story. Amplified street music blares in Chinatown near the Capital One Arena. Bucket drummers drum all hours, day and night. It's too much for David Mitchell and his blind daughter, Emma, a sophomore at George Washington University. They moved downtown to Gallery Place to enjoy the vibrancy of the city, not to endure endless music that invades their upper floor home. The noise is so significant that our daughter cannot use her software voiceover programs to complete her homework, read, or perform other tasks of daily living. Emma Mitchell says she sometimes stays at school because home is too loud. I use voiceover on my Mac, um, and it allows me to write papers via uh, dictation. Um, and without the computer and my iPhone, I wouldn't be able to interact with the world. The Mitchells were part of a large crowd of mostly downtown residents and businesses urging the city to enforce noise laws or pass tougher ones. This is an especially sensitive issue in areas like downtown where all matters of sound is constantly being created. Ward 2 Councilmember Jack Evans represents downtown. He said nearly 10,000 people live there now with lots of intrusive noise. But the council members say civil rights laws limit enforcement. Labor union leaders don't want laws to inhibit their demonstration. Union leader John Boardman urged the city to enforce current laws worked out years ago. The council was very, very good about drafting them. What we have Yes, and we have in a number of situations is a lack of enforcement. In the district, Tom Sherwood, News 4. Loudoun County firefighters sifted through debris today, just hours after a house fire killed a man. The fire happened last night on Taylorstown Road in Lovettsville. Firefighters say the unstable house has made it difficult to investigate. Not clear how the fire started. The victim's name has not been released. It's fires like those in Virginia, like that one in Virginia, that Maryland fire officials hope to prevent. And starting on January 1st, a new kind of smoke detector has to be used if you live in Maryland. As News 4's Darcy Spencer reports, the days of replacing those small batteries will be over. We're Prince George's County Fire Department. We're coming around checking smoke detectors. Firefighters go door to door in a neighborhood in Capitol Heights. They're making sure residents know a new law goes into effect January 1st. It'll make smoke alarms that are in most residents' homes outdated. The alarms that run on 9 volt batteries need to be replaced with these alarms with 10 year batteries sealed into the unit. Firefighters installed one for free in this resident's home. Now your smoke detector is good for 10 years. Some see it as an advantage, especially for seniors who may have trouble reaching the detectors to replace the batteries. After 10 years, you replace the entire unit. Fire Chief Ben Barksdale says residents sometimes remove the 9 volts to use them in something else, or they don't change the battery when it dies. Uh, this year we've had uh, five uh, fatalities here in Prince George's County, and um, all did not have uh, working smoke alarms. So this gives you a chance. These 10-year alarms also have a hush button. If the alarm goes off, say while you're cooking and there's no fire, you can push the button to silence it. You'll need to install a 10-year alarm in every level of your home. Uh, I haven't found anybody that really knows about the law, so what we're doing out here is actually good. Residents won't need to keep changing batteries and they won't be able to remove them from the new alarms. Safety improvements that firefighters hope will save lives. And we are live here at the Chapel Oaks Fire Station in Capitol Heights. One thing to keep in mind with these new smoke alarms, they cost a little bit more than your old alarms, 20 to $25 a piece. The good news is if you live here in Prince George's County, you can call 311. Firefighters will come out to your home and install one for free. Reporting live in Capitol Heights, Darcy Spencer, News 4. That is good to know. Are we, we're just weeks away from Christmas now, and you plan to travel, but you haven't booked your flight? Fear not, folks. Experts say there are still <laughs> some deals out there, and the key is avoiding those peak travel days. NBC's Dan Sheneman explains. Well, everyone is trying to get their Christmas shopping done. Travel experts say it's a good time to shop for airfares. There are two words to keep in mind. Book now is really the key with just being a couple weeks out from the holiday season. There are also a few days you should avoid. When you look at air.